Welcome back to the channel folks. In this video I'm going to give you my very raw first impressions of the final production model of the Somnium VR1 Ultimate Edition. So I'm going to be making a lot more videos of this headset but this is just my raw first impressions. I've just put the headset on and it's a no thrills sort of basically first feelings about the headset and how it compares to the prototype version. So if you're not really familiar with the Somnium VR1, well where have you been? <laughs> I've made loads of videos already. But uh, it's basically a super high-end prosumer VR headset specifically for the PC VR crowd and in this case Obviously, I'm going to use it as a flight simming headset, but it can be used for many different things. It's open sourced in nature, meaning all the sensors, the software is incredibly flexible. You can do so many things with it. There's different versions available. Um, I'm using the Ultimate Edition, as I say, which has the um, dual, is it 12 megapixel color pass through cameras. Um, I've got hand tracking with this. It's a 35 PPD, 2880 by 2880 QLED display. It's over-engineered. When, it, when I say that, I mean it's the build quality is over the top with this thing. If you want a headset that will last you for 10 years, this is it really. And what I'm going to do, actually, for this video is show you the unboxing. Because this is what it will look like when you receive your Somnium VR1. And as you can see, straight away from the beautiful case that it comes in, there's that feeling of quality, real quality and drama, you know, about opening it for the first time in that amazing case. No other VR manufacturer has ever done this before. And when you open it, as you can see here, it just looks beautiful. You even get a very nice welcome letter. And of course, the headset itself, as you can see there, looking very nice. We'll just show you some real close-up shots of the device. This is what it will look like when you get yours. Very distinctive shape and as you can see there the plastics and materials used compared to my prototype version which I actually thought was already very 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 nice. This is over the top like it's so well made. This is, without question, the best build quality I've ever seen from any other VR manufacturer. It's just absolutely solid. And I'll just show you a few other things, including the two cables, because if you go for the mixed reality version, and I really like how they're connected at either sides of the headset, because unlike, say, the Varia XR4, which has both cables running out of one side of the headset, which makes it a bit, well, you can just feel the weight of the cables, the cables here are very well balanced being at both ends and with the fiber optic cable being very light, very high quality, you just don't feel them on the headset at all. I really do love the little details such as the VR1 logo on the breakout box which is all metal and as you can see here now with the lenses, they've got a nice lens protector on there, 35 PPD, QLED, absolute beautiful display technology. And you can see here, I'm going to shut up and you can hear me peel those lenses off. Nice. Always such a nice feeling that. <laughs> so I'm using, by the way, the microphone of the Sony VR1 and I think you'll agree. I haven't done any tweaking with it, but I reckon it's going to sound pretty damn good and the unboxing experience just leaves a massive smile on your face. You know, I won't uh, go into too much detail, but I've had a horrible week. In fact, I've had the worst week of my life. Um, some very terrible things have happened in the family, but I must admit, when I opened the box of the Somnium VR1, it really, truly made me smile and feel very excited, and it was nice to feel like that again. So here we are now in the TBM and I'm using Steam VR. I'm at 100% resolution. So I'm using the full 100% resolution because I've got an RTX 4090. I'm getting about 35 frames per second at the moment in this scene. It feels fine for this type of flying. 
Uh, bearing in mind, this is MSFS 2020, which isn't really that well optimized for VR. And I've got a feeling the new sim will run better with the Sony VR1. But having not used this headset for quite a while now, I'm reminded of how absolutely amazing the visuals are. If I've got any through the lens footage, I'll just stick it in now. It is absolutely just so crisp and clean. There's a, it's not just about the raw resolution, but it's those lenses, the brightness, the NVIDIA algorithm sh uh, sharpening that they've got going on, the software, and the, I guess, the lens calibration that they do at the factory, all those things coming together that create such a fantastic image. And the sweet spot in this is so good. Like, amazingly good. Everything I've already said about the Sony VR1, it rings true here as well. Only this time, now that I've got the final production model, it is just so well made. It feels like a true premium piece of professional VR hardware. And it'll feel nice as well, putting it in its box every night. I know, it's just, it's just one of those feelings where it's a very desirable piece of VR technology. Absolutely fantastic. And it just looks so good. In terms of Mura, I would say there's about 2 to 3% Mura, which in other words, that's extremely good. Like you're just not gonna notice it unless you're looking for it. Um, it's such a clean display, it's amazingly gorgeous. And one thing I love, well there's many things, but really what I love about the display technology in this headset is the fact that the ground and the far distance looks so much sharper than say the Crystal and the Varia XR4 at 35 PPD. This just looks absolutely phenomenal and it's making me very happy. It's making me very, very happy indeed. So what I'll also do is show you the software for the first time. Now this, again, it's just a first impressions look. So I'm just gonna show you the setup process very quickly. This is what happened when I plugged in the Somnium VR1 for the very first time. And as you can see there, the software looks slick, it looks very nice on the eyes and even compared to the beta software which obviously I used which I thought was quite good now this is absolutely a massive step up and again in terms of software this beats anything out there let's just not mess around here it's even better than the Vario base it's just the absolute cream of the crop best software that you'll ever have for a VR headset and I will go through all of these features and functions and settings in a separate video at some point. As I say, this is just a bit of a raw reaction. And the reason why I'm making this video like this is because you cannot get those raw emotions back. And I really wanted to just document my first flight. I know it's a bit rough around the edges. Sorry if there's lots of movement and stuff. I need to work out the best way to record with the VR1. And I will do all that and it'll look much better for different videos. Um, and future videos but for the time being this is just really really a very very impressive headset this is at the top of its game quite honestly if you want the very best VR headset for flight simulation and you can afford it this is it this is where it's at it is incredible I just oh my god the visuals are just epic absolutely friggin amazing it just it's the thing is these days it takes me it, i don't get so excited so easily these days with vr like i used to because i've seen it all but looking at this and i just love the colors qled with this resolution ppd with these lenses it's a fantastic combination it's really a match made in heaven now let's just mention the comfort because that is an area where I know many people will be curious to hear my opinion based on the prototype because that was sort of the Achilles heel. That was the area um, of, well, contention with this headset. But thankfully I have been in a very lucky position to provide the VR engineers with essential feedback and they have listened and the hinges and arm of the headset have been, um, what's the word, just stiffened up so it supports the headset better. 
And this in turn definitely makes a difference to the comfort. This does feel more comfortable, but I think I've only been flying for what? Well, five, ten minutes. <laughs> I can tell it's more comfortable, but ideally I need to do a long session. So I think I will do that as an, a you know, separate video, uh, maybe like a two or three hour session using the headset and seeing how it feels. But don't get me wrong, if you're going for the full fat bad boy edition, you know, with the huge sensors, this headset is full of technology. It's going to be, you know, it's not going to be as light as, say, a big screen beyond or a Quest 3 or something like that. There is going to be some extra weight but it's all about how that weight is just uh, distributed. Now, another thing as well is now this is actually my headset. I'm going to mess around and try a few different uh, straps. You can fit a HTC Deluxe audio strap on this, which means you can get audio. You could even use a Bobo VR um, head strap on it as well. So there is some options out there, which I really do feel will make this even better. But for now, I think that's going to have to do, guys. Sorry, this is literally just my first impressions. And I'm absolutely flabbergasted by these visuals. The sweet spot is absolutely fantastic. Very easy on the eyes. In fact, this is better. The lenses on this are even better than the prototype. They feel better calibrated. The binocular overlap is a dream. It feels very 3D, beautiful. Field of view feels fantastic. It's such a clean image. Really, at this point, I would be very happy to have visuals like this for many years to come. It just is a superb treat for the eyes. So it's now your turn. What would you like to see with the final version of the Sony V1? Um, of course, I'll do some DCS wheel content, checking out the favorited rendering, all that kind of good stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know what you'd like to see. I will be doing a XR4 versus Somnium VR1 comparison. That is a video that has been long overdue, but I was, you know, I just had to wait until I got the final version to give you my thoughts on both headsets. That video will be coming in the near future. But for now, as I say, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please feel free to subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what VR1 content you'd like to see. I'll see you again very soon. Take care and from a very happy VR flight sim guy, bye for now.